I'm a geek, I'll fully admit it. I like learning about technology and I've always been fascinated, sometimes too much, with gadgets. I was reading an article by the president of a group that I follow in the church world called Convergence, and she pulled an interesting quote from Rabbi Abraham Heschel, who talks of the experience of a deeply spiritual life. He writes, our goal should be to live life in radical amazement. Get up in the morning and look at the world in a way that takes nothing for granted. Everything is phenomenal, everything is incredible. Never treat life casually. To be spiritual is to be amazed. This quote was in response to an article about dealing with AI or artificial intelligence that seems to be breaking into our world everywhere. She was listening to another pastor who said that artificial intelligence is shepherding or leading his church into the valley of the shadow of death. I'm not ready to go that far yet, but I do recognize the need to balance our world, the digital and the analog or spiritual or seeing God in the everyday. AI is helping to imagine things that we may not have thought ever thought possible and technology as it is always evolving helps us in so many other ways, but Rabbi Heschel is right, we should live our lives in radical amazement. Always being curious and surprised by God at every twist and turn, in every interaction, in every sunrise and sunset, and yeah, I'm going to say it, even in the snowflakes. To be spiritual, to look for God active around us is indeed to be amazed, and we are continually on this journey to balance the digital with the non-digital. Hybrid, we've come to call it nowadays. You can't shun one in favor of the other. It just isn't going to work. So how do we balance everything out? Our digital life, our family life, our prayer life, and our being surprised life? I don't have an answer, but maybe we can figure it out together. Blessings on your week. Know that I am regularly thankful and amazed by all of you who watch this video each week. This is your moment of peace with me, Pastor Travis Wilson.